Democrats are oblivious to black issues. Action Bronson gets called out by Ghostface. Fantasia gets hitched and Chris Brown gets got. What's up everybody? Welcome back to this week's Let Leslie Tell It. While Republicans have everyone and their Bible-toting mother running for president, the Democrats have their eyes set on the likes of Hillary Clinton, Scott Walker, Martin O'Malley, and Bernie Sanders. Personally, I've been keeping my eye on Bernie because it seems like his politics are something that I can get behind. That is me and little be the base guy who has been very vocal about his support on Twitter. But then there was that little incident that happened in Arizona that left a few people with some sour taste in their mouths. It was supposed to be a talk between Governor O'Malley and Bernie Sanders speaking to some of the constituents. However, things went awry when the protesters showed up and began asking the candidates directly, how do you plan on changing things in the black community? Yes, and then they went on to name all of the black women who had died recently in police custody, even using the hashtag, if I die in police custody, as a nod to the tragic death of Sandra Bland. Well, Bernie and Mr. O'Malley seem to miss the mark altogether by bringing up the criminal justice system and then O'Malley even had the audacity to use all lives matter. Yeah, no. We realize that the criminal justice system is part of the reason that things are failing. We also realize that unemployment is adding to the poverty line. And sure, we want police to wear body cams, but what black people really want to know is how are you going to fix racism? How will the new commander in chief do things differently? Plain and simple. Here's the thing. If these white house hopefuls don't wise up, these votes are going to be hard to come by. Have you ever wanted to piss off a legendary rapper? Mm. We'll just say that him and his crew are off to retirement and one will come for you in a fierce old daddy way. And that's exactly what happened to Action Bronson after Ghostface Killer heard him say something about how Wu-Tang is a rap on Sports Nation. Now you know what, Action was wrong for that. For years, people have been listening to Action and comparing him quietly to Ghostface Killer time and time again. All was good with the comparison until Action came sideways out his neck about ghosts. Well, Ghostface went on to make a six minute video filled with Teddy Pendergrass in the background dropping romantic gems. And do you know, it was really very timely and quite hilarious. After threatening to light Action's beard on fire, Ghostface said Action better hope he doesn't find him in the streets cause it's gonna be a wrap. Telling him that he doesn't have any real fans, just Ghostface fans willing to give him a chance. I hope that Action's got his homies on call because if Ghostface finds him in the street, that might not go too well for him. And y'all know Action ain't going nowhere too damn fast. Mm. Well, well, well. Seems like our girl Tasia, first name fan, finally got rid of all the hood boogers in her life and found her one true love. Her and her boo Kendall got married on a yacht over this past weekend in a signature ghetto black, white, and red affair. It was just lace and roses all over the place. She took to Instagram sharing some pictures and even giving a little quotes about shouting her love from the rooftops. After reading some of those captions, I am hoping she didn't write her own vows, but allowed the pastor to come through with what he had on hand. Nonetheless, it is really good to finally see her happy again because she had been battling some trials, child, and it was terrible. It did give us a good album. Side effects of you was popping, even if it was about her old den and putting some niggas on. But I'm hoping with Kendall in her life, we'll get our old Tasia back. You know her, the one that'll kick her Steve Madden heels to the side and sing until her finger waves unfreeze. Come on through, Tasia. You on. I'm excited for the new album. And of course, I wish to couple nothing but a lifetime of joy. Your boy Chris Brown found out that not only are his hoes not loyal, neither are his homies. Word on the street is it was his friends that broke into his house along with a few gang members that he rose with. Mm. You see, Chris, this is what happens when you're too busy stalking your ex, being a new daddy, and showing up on every rap track like the new Nate dog. You can't pay attention to who's around you and not watch the company you keep. Seems to me like it's time for you to clear house of the rats and the roaches that you've dragged along the way. But of course, knowing Chris, this will just turn into a press tour for him and he'll probably show up on The Breakfast Club thanking his fans for sticking with him through it all, thus ignoring the real issue at hand as per usual. Mm. Nonetheless, that's all for me this week, ladies and gents, and for a while, because as you can see, it's time for me to drop this baby. And I can't be out here talking my mess with you with a fresh out the vag child. Mm -mm. So nonetheless, you follow me everywhere on the internet, Hot Mommy, and keep up with me in the meantime. Until I see you next, peace. Nobody do it like LA, it, I'm so LA.